Hello everyone, Emp here bringing you another RenPy tutorial. Today I want to talk about side images. Now side images are, um, they're basically, um, well let me just show you. I'm gonna launch my project. This is the regular image that you show, that's Lenore. And this is a side image. It's usually off to the left and the bottom, but it can have various shapes or whatever. I mean, it's an image. You can make it look however you want. But basically it comes up automatically for the script. In the actual script, all I had to do was say, show Lenore neutral for this. And then I said, Lenore says this. And then I said, Lenore happy says this. So there she's changing to happy. So it it's a nice uh, shortcut for you to have these set up already. So how does one make a side image? Well, the first thing you need to do is actually create your side images. So it would be image side and then the name of the character. And you tie it to there when you make the character by saying image equals and then whoever the character's name is. So in this case, it's Eileen. So this is that's what I've done on mine in my images.rpy folder. I have a Lenore neutral and this resizing business is quick and dirty because I haven't cropped them down to the right size yet. Um, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, you can just have equals your image name. And then I just did a live crop and a flip, horizontal flip of the new, of the regular image to make the side image. And I did that with two different ones. And we'll get to these later. Um, so yeah, all I had to do was say image equals Lenore here, and then it'll automatically look for things called image side Lenore so-and-so, such and such. Now, if it can't find one that matches, it will just show nothing instead of giving you an error or whatever. So there's two ways to change what the side image will be, which expression it's going to have. One is you can actually explicitly show this, the image beforehand. So right here, when I show Lenore neutral. And then when she speaks, she'll be tied to the neutral when her, her side image will be neutral. The second way I can do it is to have the tags attribute the tag attributes over here when I say it. And so this is L happy. And if you notice when I run this, when we switch to L happy, it changes this image too. So it, it does both of them. Um, so that's nice, uh, but usually if you want to do things like smooth transitions like dissolve and so forth, you would do it, you would normally do it the way where you would show it explicitly with dissolve or whatever, this way, and say, okay, now we're going to show, now we're going to just have them say the thing and say the right expression with their face. Um, however, you can change the say attribute transi transition, this is a config variable, into a dissolve so that it will happen automatically when the say, when the say statement transforms which character should be showing. So I just set it to dissolve in 0.2 seconds and that's what it does. This is the same, basically, um, this is a transition for the side image itself. Side image, same transform, so when it's the same person as before, it'll be that. And if you look down here, they have an example of doing a different transform when it changes to different characters. They have them sliding out and in, and that's pretty neat. 
Um, so I hope that this gives you a good overview of what you can do with side images. Um, obviously, you probably don't want to make my ugly little crops here like this. Um, it, I would be interested to find out if you know, a crop would work, would make the game smaller overall than actually having separate images, but I'm not going to really do that experimentation because I'm lazy and I don't expect you guys to do it either, so don't worry about it. Just do whatever makes the most sense for you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful and hopefully I'll see you next time.